So this is a short video to show how to open up and install the very handy parent master tool create, created by Paolo Dominici. It's a great little tool. You can see it here. I've made a little shelf here for it. It's called PM and it creates this little tool here called ZV uh, Parent Master. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to attach a hat to Monty's head here. So I'll just go ahead and show you uh, where to begin. And as usual, we'll start at the animation blog. So here we are at the Animation Apprentice blog. So um, if I just scroll over here to the search bar and I just search for Parent Master, it will pull up a blog post that I did some years ago about how to use the Parent Master plugin. So I'm just going to pull that up now. So there we go. And that's going to take me down. Great. It did it in 2014, 10 years ago. So this plugin has been really helpful for years. Now, the problem you're going to find is that um, if you have an older version of the Parent Master, it won't work because since 2023, um, uh, the Python tool has been, Python's been updated to PY3. So uh, you need the latest version of the Paid Parent Master, which you need to download from, um, uh, from Paolo Dominici's uh, site. So if I just go to Google and Google uh, Parent Master Tool Maya, it will take me to Paolo Dominici's site. There you go. You can see Parent Master 1.3 um, and you can just go ahead and download that. Um, and that will give you the latest version of the um, of the ZV Parent Master. So that's going to give you the updated version. And uh, what you want to do is you want to drop that in your scripts folder. So I'm just going to show you where I've put that in uh, in Maya. So I'm working on a PC right now. I also work on a Mac. It's a little bit different from a Mac, but for a PC, you're going to go to Documents, Maya, Projects, sorry, Scripts, and you want the Parent Master folder to be in your Scripts folder. Now, when you download it, it's going to say ZV Parent Master 134, um, and, but inside that is ZV Parent Master, and, and that's the one you want to drop in the Scripts folder, because if you just drop ZV Parent Master 134 in the Scripts folder, it won't find it. So you've got to find the ZV Parent Master folder that is inside ZV Parent Master 134. Now, I've dropped it both in my Scripts folder and also, because I'm running Maya 2022 here, in my Scripts folder in Maya 2022. Um, so I've got it in both places. That's a kind of belt and braces approach. I'm not sure which is correct. I've popped it in both places and it is working for me right now. So once you've done that, you should be able to go into your um, script editor and in the Python tab, you should be able to, to drop in this little piece of code. And there's the little piece of code here. It's this, it's this little, little chunk here. So if I drag select that and go control C, to copy it and I go back to Maya, I can pop that in my um, in in uh, in there and uh, that should work. I don't know where it's got the spaces, but that's what that's what I copied and then I drag that over into my shelf editor, created a little shelf for myself, um, and then in the settings in the shelf editor, you click on settings there, you go to shelf editor, and there it is. Import ZV Parent Master UI. And under icon label, I've just labeled that PM for Parent Master. And then I click on Save Our Shelves, and then I've got a little button there. You can see it's got the little Python uh, icon there. I know it doesn't look like a Python, but that is a little snake. Um, as a, as a compared to a Mel um, icon, which is a, an M shape. So once I've done that, I can go ahead and import something into Maya. Let's say I want to import a... Um, a hat for Monty, so I'm going to go and select the bowler hat, which I've already popped in the um, in the uh, scenes folder. Select the bowler hat, lift it up, go to frame one. Obviously, the bowler hat is too big, so I've got to make it smaller. So let's try 0.3. Whoops, 0.3 there. Uh, so let's try 0.4. Point five, whoops, point five, let's try that. Okay, that looks about right. And then let's um, let's take that down to, um, oh, it's still a little bit big. I'm just gonna go to the scale tool. There we go, that's about right. Um, and then let's go ahead and attach that to Monty. Now I'm gonna go into wireframe mode because that way I can attach it to the 
scale tool uh, or the, the squash and stretch tool on the top of Monty's head. And what I do is I select the hat here and then I shift select the thing I want to attach it to, which is the squash and stretch tool. And then I press attach using that. And now if I go back to five, I press five on my uh, keyboard for wireframe, uh, uh, not wireframe, um, for um, texture mode and press play, I should now have the um, hat attached to Monty. Now the advantage of this is that if I go back to the Parrot Master, I can then unattach it as well. You can see there's this little attach button up here and then unattach it underneath. So if I, let's say I wanted Monty to leap up in the air and have his hat fly off, I could then detach the hat using the Parrot Master plugin. Anyway, I will lead you, leave you to fiddle with it, have a go at it. Um, it's a really, really super useful tool for attaching and unattaching things in Maya. It is a little bit fiddly to install, but it can be done. It definitely works in on my PC at the moment. Uh, I might do a separate video to show how to install it on a Mac, because it is a little bit different on a Mac, slightly more fiddly.